Raising three kids is like a circus. <laughs> Mommy, we're hungry. Mommy, what's for dinner? Mommy, what's for lunch? Just clean the sink out. Never ending. It's a lot. What do I give him for lunch? Do I do something easy because I'm stressed out? No. You don't know that you're making the right decisions. When you're at the end of your rope and you don't know what else to do, it's defeating. Should have been a better mom. That's kind of always in the back of your mind. Hello, Christiana? Yes. Catherine? Hi, Catherine, how are you? Good. What's your name? Gracie. Gracie. I'm Cody. Cody, nice to meet you, Catherine. Nice to meet you, Catherine. Thanks for coming by. I'm excited. Here's the pantry, and in here, these are some of the snacks that we have. Okay. Just easy, something to grab and go. Seeing like, oh, it's organic, and it has vegetables right. in it. That's gotta be great. So I mean, we look at the front and think, okay, this is gonna have carrots and tomatoes, maybe some, looks like navy beans in there. Um, but really, when we flip it over, it's got sunflower oil, yellow cornmeal in it, sorghum flour, rice flour, and then at the very bottom, we have the dried carrots. The very last ingredient is tomatoes. So, so that's really, like a little, little, little really, thing. it doesn't have your vegetables in it. It's really just carbs. You're better off just doing something like Cheerios for him. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, so, absolutely. So I want to come to these guys really quick here. Tell me when you're using these. Reagan likes those snacks, mid-morning snack, mid-afternoon snack. She's like, mommy, I'm so hungry, mommy, I want something. So okay. she might have one of those. These are just gonna have a lot of actual sugar in them, more than what your regular applesauce would have. Mm -hmm. They just have more ingredients in here than what's actually on the front, more right. sugar in them. So knowing how to read the labels and knowing where those processed foods are because it's it's a it's an ever-changing game. So I have some snacks that we can look at that are gonna be a little bit higher in fiber, less sugar that the kids can have. Okay, great. What we're gonna do now is just a fun alternative to popsicles. So this one is a fun way to get the kids involved and make a yogurt fruit popsicle. Awesome. We are going to put some yogurt and strawberries in the cups. So to make it a little bit more fun, instead of using popsicle sticks, we're gonna use pretzels. Yeah. Stick that right in the cup, perfect. So we're gonna put these in the freezer and then we can have them later today. I have some snacks that we could assemble together that actually equal a snack, because snacks don't have to be snack foods. Snacks just need to be a smaller amount of real food. That makes sense. So It's not one of those Dorito bags. That right. Easy, easy. No, we don't need yeah. Doritos. We don't need fruit snacks or anything. We just need real food. Sure. So we had some chicken leftover and then avocado, and we are going to just put that in a tortilla. So we'll go ahead and you can just spoon out some avocado and kind of mash it on the tortilla there. Uh, Doesn't have to be fancy. Okay. We had leftover chicken, so I pulled that out. We can put on the tortilla. But if you don't have any leftover chicken, black beans are a great thing to keep on hand in the pantry. You could just open the can, drain it and rinse it, and then put some black beans on here for a great source of protein as mm -hmm. well. So we'll go ahead and just sprinkle some chicken on there and then just roll it on up. So just something quick and easy that actually uses real foods that you had from the night before. Oh, looks good. So a nice snack that involves some protein and some carbs and some healthy fat from the avocado. So the next snack we're going to make is a peanut butter banana quesadilla. A Little bit of peanut butter on the tortilla. Slice your banana, fold it on over. There we go. Look at that. Quick I love and easy. it. Something that's not prepackaged, but also presented to the child in a way that's kind of exciting for them. Mm -hmm. That's not just, here's a banana and here's peanut butter. Right. That was a big bite. How's it taste? Oh. Thumbs up. Awesome. Grace saying that bananas were slimy before today and just her face lit up when she saw that, I do like this. It's definitely a sense of pride and just happy. I'm just happy about it. Christiana and Cody, they want the best for their children. I think one of the things that helped them today was learning that they can take leftover foods and use those for snacks and we don't always need processed packaged snacks. They have this toolkit now, healthy recipes and snack ideas and lunch ideas. They have that knowledge now. 
There are small baby steps that you can make, changes that can be huge and can span for a lifetime for your kids.